Texas. And on the near side over here, we have Marcus Wright. Marcus wears number six. He's a senior running back from San Antonio, Texas. Coach, to start with, just your general comments on a game that until the final 20 seconds was still in bound. Yeah, we fought, fought hard. Um, I told the guys in the locker room that we, you know, that we, we need to man up after one like this. You know, I, I did a bad job of coaching and they did a bad job of playing. We, we had we had chances to make some plays. It's hard to win when you get, when you don't get any turnovers and you, get, and you give up two. You know, we gave up one, I guess, on the last Hail Mary, but that didn't count. So we gave up two, you know, one obviously for the touchdown. We, coaching wise, we did a horrible job of managing last couple minutes of the game, and that's, uh, that's on me, and uh, I don't blame anybody for one, but uh, that's on me. I haven't coached them well enough to, to do that, and for that I'll take full credit, and uh, you know, I'm proud of our team, and we're going to find out a lot about ourselves over the next you know, few days and few weeks. Trent, I know at a time like this, it's, it's hard to think about personal accomplishments, but playing in the biggest stage in all of football, Cowboy Stadium, you went over 2,000 career yards today, 20 carries for 121 yards. Just comment about your performance. Uh, well, first of all, I give credit to Eastern Mexico. They played a really great game. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's an honor to you know, reach that uh, point. But, you know, I, I've done it with a lot of help from you know, the O-line and the whole team. The um, game didn't quite turn out how we expected it to, but like Coach said, you know, like the turnovers, uh, that'll, that'll do it to you. They had zero turnovers, so, you know, that'll that'll get you, but it was a hard fought game, both sides of the ball, and uh, just, we just didn't come up with a win. Marcus, from your perspective, again, a lot of turnovers as a team, but you get the ball back, a couple minutes left on the clock, and you guys drive downfield and are in position to potentially win the ball game. Um, yeah, we were in a position to win the game, but you know it's football. It's why you play it. Things happen. We're not there. We make some mistakes. They capitalize on them and uh, score set the rest. You know, I'd like to say this. I want to reiterate what Trent said. Uh, Eastern New Mexico coach very well, and they play very well. They deserve a lot of credit. Sometimes you don't lose games. You just get beat. And I'm not sure that was the case here. In this Any questions for uh, the Cardinals? Coach, in the last time out, you called the last time out before the interception. What, what did you tell your team? What was the play? Well, it was interesting. Cause it, and I think I almost called timeout prior to the play because if you remember, the band was playing, and we ran half, halfway around the play, and they called us back and did this and started the clock again. You know, it, was, it was bad timing on the officials to do that. But and So I'm not sure that they didn't see what we had plan to call it, just played it. You know, well, I almost called time up because I saw it and I, I didn't. Maybe I should have. You know, maybe they didn't see it at all. Maybe they just made a great play. We were a little late getting the ball out there. And so, you know, they, they made a great play. We didn't. But, uh, we still hadn't gotten the ball down in position to score anyway because we did a bad job of clock management. Yes, sir. And what was the call? What was the, the play that you called? It was a, it was out of a bunch set. that you guys took a lot of time because it seemed like you were just... That's what I said. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. We did a bad job of clock management. We took way too long to get in and out. Uh, way too long to snap the ball. Yeah, way too long to do a bad, bad job of coaching. Coach, you went into the halftime. They were down 21-14. You had three trips into the red zone and came out with seven points. I mean, how big was that for the rest of the game not to capitalize on those scoring? Yeah, you had you know, the missed field goal. You know, you know, always, missed field goals always come back to get you somewhere. But at the, end, at, the end, at the end of the game, it's not one play that wins or loses. You know, the one play they pick it off and run it back. But then it, it's a game. But what, what lost the game was other plays along the way. We just didn't execute well enough. We didn't coach well enough. We didn't quite play well enough. What sort of what, what sort of shape was Zach in? He was knocked out earlier in the fourth and then came back for that final drive. Was he okay physically at that he point? He was. He was released. Of, he was okay.
okay, but he was a little dingy toward the end, I thought. That's just my opinion. And uh, maybe, you know, he's taking a concussion test right now to see how he is. Thought he played very well. He ran extremely well. He's not getting very hard on that one. Could you have asked for a better way to start the game? Not really. <laughs> More <than a> second. <laughs> They did a nice job because what we had seen on film from them wasn't what we saw on the field. I think they played better, they coached better, they did a nice job. They made just a lot better. Marcus, can you take us to that, that kickoff return what we saw there? Um, well, we had the return on. I just, you know, I don't have to do anything in there, just catch the ball and run to the hole. The guys did a good job holding their blocks and the trim was out front and he didn't just hit the sideline and don't get caught. Trent, can you talk a little about halftime adjustments you guys made on offense? Because uh, your first two or three drives, you guys really moved the ball well um, in the second half, especially. All uh, right. Well, we talked about you know hitting the hole, um, you know more consistently. Uh, it seemed like every time we were running it, we our first instinct was to, to bounce it outside. But uh, coaches, you know, were seeing that it was open, and uh, so I mean. They, Came out, we ran it down the middle and started working. Um, and the receivers opened up, I think, the running game a lot more as well. It helped out a lot. So We threw the ball a little bit better in the second half, and that helped open up the running game. Any other questions for the member of the Cardinals football team? Well, gentlemen, we appreciate your time. It was an exciting ball game, and best of luck throughout the season. Thank you.